we back. I don't know. Uh, well, I said. I guess I should have said this when I was talking about the Blake riots, or not Blake riots, because right, the protests is what the case is. Um, did you see the um how the NBA, WNBA, oh, everybody yeah. else just like halted I, for the whole I fucking am, day? I applauded them. That was the most. I I think that's what got me out of my little spoof. Like mm-hmm. after that night, and literally them the next day, whatever. Yeah. And I heard them. And I was like, yes. I was like, yes. That's what I'm. The fuck I'm talking Cause, about. Because um, I don't know the team, so sorry if uh, I'm not accurate was, with the teams. Okay, is Milwaukee. It was a Milwaukee team that kind of kicked it, it off. But it was another team too, though, because you know that after well, when they came back to the bubble, it was straight playoffs now. So yeah, it's straight playoffs. So whatever team it was that um just said that we're not hitting the floor today, the other team would have got that win off rip. Yeah. But the other team was like, no, I think we, they was playing, and all they had to do was all they had to do was just touch the floor, and they would have got the win off top. But they said, no, we're not taking the floor either. So yeah. neither one of the teams took the floor. Nobody got the win. Case is and all that yeah. shit. But yeah, man, it was that. Um, it wasn't Stephen A. Smith. It was fucking. Um, was it Kenny Rogers? Yeah, I think baseball. Yeah, like no, no, not, not baseball. He, the, uh, I want to say it's Kenny Rogers. I think that uh, I know his name is Kenny. I don't know his Rogers' his last name, but he's on the. He's on a talk show with uh, Shaq, Charles Barkley, and um, the other dude, or case is. He walked off set. He said, shit, I'm going to stand. I actually feel exactly how these NBA oh, players yeah, feel. Yeah. He said, shit, I'm going to walk off set just to show my solidarity with them. Yeah, and not only not only uh, basketball, but basketball sparked. Like, yeah, it was WNBA. It was, a, it was a whole WNBA, bunch of, like, that whole day. Yeah. Like, everything got halted that whole fucking day. Yeah, WNBA, they shut down everything. So, like, yeah. they, they uh, I, I I think like well, they I've don't. Been, they I've been fucking season. with the NBA since this bubble. I don't know if you have seen any of the games or at least seen seen what the players or what the NBA or whoever are letting them do with their jerseys. Have you been seeing that? Mm-mm. So on the back of their jerseys, they can put wherever they want to, and they have they still have their last name on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So a lot of them have I can't breathe on the back of their jersey. Mm-hmm. A lot of them have justice for Brianna on the back of their jersey, mm-hmm. and like this is like all the NBA players. So and this has been going on since the bubble over case is. So the fact that that evolved into them just saying fuck this whole night or fuck this whole day and all these games with case is, that shit's just evolving. Yeah. So hopefully that's that's showing motherfucker something. I don't know, man. Yeah, because that's that's the only thing that's fucking people fucking fed up with this shit. Yeah, and that's the only thing that fucking like society <clears throat> and like people will understand is when they pockets get hit. That's mm-hmm. when motherfuckers want to make some shit change and shit. So, like, that's the only way. And uh, I, I was so happy that, because, like, f- from them, from that team sparking that and the other team joining them and to the whole, sport, like, like every, majority yeah. of the NBA, then then we got fucking baseball. Then we had fucking soccer. Then we had um, some of the tennis players, like, doing this shit, too. And then, like, um, um uh, I think a few more other people started to get in on it, on it, like on the back end of it, and like I'm, I'm just like, like really like applauding these people for like, you know, just like doing, doing this what they believe in, and yeah, because like this is the only way motherfuckers is gonna like listen, and it's, and it's like it, it, what's funny is like, of course you know we got the other side saying. You know, this bullshit, shut up and dribble shit. Fuck Erlacher. He said something. Yeah, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for the tweet that he said, but I can't fucking find it, but fuck him. Uh, I could tell you what he said. I can't I can't remember, and I and, can't and fucking it, find it right now, but I'm looking for it. It pissed me off. He was talking about, um, was it Peyton? Um, was it who, was it Peyton Manning? Or? Here you go. Here you go right here. So, um, uh, yeah, is this it? Yeah, yeah, when, yeah this is uh, it. Uh, it says... Brett Favre played Brett Favre. Monday Night Football mm-hmm. game the day his dad died through four touchdowns in the first half and was a legend for playing in the face of adversity. NBA players boycott the playoffs because a dude reaching for a knife won a felony assault. Uh, felony, <laughs> felony sexual assault warrant was shot by police. 
Like, I don't care what the fucking person did. Like, that shit, it sh- shit still don't justify you shooting them seven times in the back, bro. Like, they're... But well, what the fuck does that have to do with Brett Favre dead dying and, and playing Right, and football? that's another thing, too. Like, why how, the fuck how would you even comparable? bring them... <laughs> Where is that comparable at? People just... Uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, I, when I read that shit, I was like, man. And I was like, you know what? I hope Brett Favre kick your ass, too. Nigga, so bringing up sure shit, did bro. Michael Jordan when his father died, nigga. Nigga yeah, played a, play a, a flu, flu game, game, all that shit. So, that nigga was sick. All right, so uh, what, what the fuck, the fuck does it have, have to, to do, do with, with any fucking thing? That's why I'm like, yeah. My fuckers just want to say shit, so. Yeah, okay. that's why I'm like, between this year, of like, all the dumb shit that's been going on, all the crazy shit that's been going on, all the dumbass people we got on this planet, like, I'm just, like, done. I'm like done with answering. I'm done with talking to dumbass people. Yep. Done. That's why I don't voice my opinion until I come to the podcast. Done. <laughs> don't talk to me. Yeah, I'm don't like ask I'm, me shit. I'm I don't not, got shit to say. Yeah, I don't have time to argue with dumbass. If you want to hear what I think, subscribe. <laughs> You'll hear everything that that needs to be said on my fucking end. But yeah, man.